Yo, what's up? My name is Daniel Fleffel and welcome to another Road to Planche video where I show you my workouts, my way towards my goal, the full planche before 2020 ends. 2019 was good and 2020 will be even better. Like I just said, one of my goals is full planche before this year ends and last year was the straddle planche. I held it with a bad form for almost four seconds or something, but Anyway, this time I'm starting this year with new exercises. I'm pushing my shoulders even further. I've built my base during 2019 and now it's time to push those shoulders, build that body and work smart. And one thing that will be challenging is that I will also start with freestyle, but I will do that one to maybe two times per week because I love freestyle and you gotta do what you love during my time when I didn't do freestyle, I just decided to do, go all in on the statics and that gave results and I'm happy about that but I want to do freestyle because I love that. And before I start talking even more, let's go to the first workout. As you can see, I have some new exercises and this is because I need to do some new stuff to get some new strength so I don't get comfortable with all the exercise <laughs> exercises I've done before. I'm excited about these exercises and just want to get the perfect form in everything, especially the planche lean, elevated planche leans. Uh, I feel those are going to be really hard to lean even more, especially when my feet are elevated. But that will give me even more strength. And then also I've added some weighted exercises and will mix it up with body weight exercises and weighted exercises. And one thing I'm changing during my program is one leg workout slash leg and core workout per week. Uh, I want to activate my legs again. I haven't done legs in like three years I think. Just some j jumps, backflips and stuff, but that doesn't count. So now I'm doing deadlifts, I'm doing hip thrusters, I'm doing squats and different core exercises during one, uh, one time per week.
feel stronger and stronger for every workout some days are shit for real they are shit but that is life and i haven't been really too like super consistent with my food but i'm trying to get there after the christmas and new year i haven't got the routine yet but it's better i'm i'm still food prepping i'm still eating my food boxes every day but sometimes we go out we eat another stuff we eat some fast food or whatever because we are traveling so but it will be better and better my main focus right now is to push my shoulders further like give them more challenging exercises to make them grow get stronger especially and especially the form being in that position all the time being able to lock that's why I'm elevating my feet now and I know so many of you have told me this before that oh, yeah Daniel you should do that you should elevate your feet and la 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 I know but I needed to get some base I needed to understand the movement a little bit better saying I'm perfect I'm not I'm far away from perfect but I wanted to do that before I continue with harder exercises and I will step up slow and steady slow and steady some of you some other guys out there have faster progress than I do but that doesn't matter I'm not comparing myself to them or you I'm just comparing myself to me because in the end I'm reaching my goal I am working for that I'm doing all the exercises I'm doing all the sets and reps and whatever it's not you it's not anybody else it's me so I need to compare with myself I need to focus on what I am doing and not focusing on what other people are doing and that's an advice I will give you as well focus on you yes some people will progress faster than you in some areas but you will progress faster in other areas but I know it's hard when you see somebody coming and do, doing it for three four months and they already got that they already get the progress they already get the straddle plans whatever move you're working for and you work for it like for six months and you haven't learned it yet you are not strong strong enough the thing is you don't know their background you don't know maybe their genetics they may be strong in the shoulder parts and maybe not the back whatever don't compare yourself to others do you in the end you're going home you're laying in your bed alone you're not there with anybody else if you don't have a partner but you're doing it for you understand that it's for you and not anybody else I'm recording this for me and how can I say that I'm recording this for me when I'm posting this on YouTube so other people can see because the thing is I'm recording this to me so I can look back and see the the work I've done to show this to my kids to show this to myself later on and uh, to see that damn I work for something and maybe this will motivate me later on but also I thought why not maybe some out there will also benefit from this video so let's put this out let's do serious about this and see how much time it's take to actually learn a move you're working for a lot of people you see on the internet are only showing the results and I got I get so frustrated because I know a lot of people and a lot of athletes that are insane people only see the results and when the people see the results they're like oh they make it so easy and the thing is I don't want other people to think it's easy to get everything like oh yeah you can just do one work and you'll have it no you need to work for it these guys have worked for years months hours to get where they are so remember that next time you're working out and you feel that you're weak you're not progressing just hold that vision and trust the process for the victory lap though whoa whoa they ain't never seen nothing like this before lit the room when i came through the front door ask me if i should suffer come what for Train in the trees, please walk my sycamore. Touch burning sands, cross lands, and still me sure, sure seasons in the year, yeah. Ain't no channel for champions and chain no fear. Yup, the champ is here, switch gears. We keep the hitters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears, and my goal so near. I see my victory so clear. I see my victory so clear. It's a day, we break through. It's a day. 
Speculation, but the position that I got, I climb too high to fall, way too hard to drop. Stop clocks on the speed bag, every yell under pressure, no jet lag. This is greater than trophies and saluted flags. Titles of fame, the cost is paid. Yay, I, I, I give it the cross I made. Deal with the dealer, baby, the hand was played. New level, next stage. Learn to lead as a legend. Now tell me what's my next stage. Yay. I said the champ is here, Swiss gears. We keep it haters in the rear. At the blood, sweat, and tears in my door so near. I said I'm making it so clear. It's a day, we break through. 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 It's a day. So during these two weeks, I missed one workout, but yeah, sometimes you miss that. That's life. You keep go going, you, do, you try to do your best all the time. One thing I need to change is to plan my freestyle a little bit better so I don't do the same moves as I did the week before and do that every week because I did that a couple days ago and I got like a small inflammation in my shoulder and that affected my planche workout. So I don't want the freestyle to affect my strength training so much so that's why I need to be smarter and you guys that are interested in the freestyle stuff I will start with the freestyle tutorials right after this video I'm super excited because I want to teach you guys the moves I can do I know there's not a lot of street worker freestyle tutorials out here so that's why I want to provide that for you even the basic moves the small stuff that so many people are doing but not showing how to do that the following two weeks I will still do the strength training, still do the basic stuff, I will not do the attempts. After that next video I will do more attempts and show you guys where I am. I was, uh, during my work I will start with the attempts like I did back, back in the days. But, but when I did uh, before, but now I just want to build a better base, stronger, with better, f better, better form and I know the attempts are the most exciting to see when, uh, from each workout how I'm progressing but you need to see that all, all you need to do is also to build that strength also do the basics that's what everybody's telling you to do but not many are doing so I'm super excited about the next upcoming two weeks still just gonna grind Nothing more, nothing less. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you thought. And if you have questions that you want to ask me, go to my Instagram, send me a DM, I answer everything. So guys, make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel and I will see you in the next Road to Planche video or another tutorial.